So that's why I say I got away with it. I learned how to hustle and I got away with it. Um, so yeah, it's worked. The core part of me was a storyteller. I don't really remember a time when drawing wasn't something that I was doing. Comics itself didn't come along until quite a bit later, probably not until I was about 20 odd, when I discovered more comics than I knew had previously existed. I call myself a comics maker. It's quite common for some people to say they're a cartoonist, which is really frequent in comics or otherwise, but comics maker is, is neutral. I write, I draw, I edit, I publish, I do a whole lot of things. My objective with my work has always been a humanist approach, the human being, what makes people do things and say things. Not the movers and shakers of history, but people moved and shaken by history. In other words, every day the stuff. One thing you do get by going through the process of Doctor of Philosophy is being able to see through very large-scale projects and organising large-scale events. We ran a comic symposium here back in 2018, which I was involved in organising. So I've actually learned many things that I have never done before. Prior to coming here, I didn't make scholarship comics, doing a scholarship but in the comics form, and now I do. So that's something that's entirely new here. The thing I've enjoyed most probably was the opportunity to teach, because I was teaching illustration. I had been in the industry for long enough to have things I think I could teach and help other people with. I've been to plenty of festivals and things around the world. The Perth Comic Arts Festival is one of the most successful I've been a part of. So there's something in the water here, shall we say? You're constantly hustling, uh, trying to find the next job and to line it up and to make it work. And comics is no different. I learned how to hustle and I got away with it. And I hope to continue doing that too. Thanks, ACU. <laughs>